is our moderator. She will poke around the corner. So there you go, <laughs> Megan. Uh, this is Grizzly Mail number four, and that is a squeaky toy that one of our dogs has decided that he's going to um, choke on. <laughs> In yeah. <laughs> this is where we open fan mail that you guys have sent in to us over the last couple of months. We have been moving house, so it's taken a little while since the last one to get uh, to this stage. And I know we've got a lot of packages here that people have been wanting to know if they have arrived. And the short answer is we're going to find out today. <laughs> We're going to get right into it. Um, we've got three prizes to give away today, one for Facebook, one for YouTube, and one for someone who has sent something in, if Rex doesn't vomit. I'm going to just put this toy over here, Rex. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got three prizes to give away, and they are these. Uh, these are donated by Reed's Prospecting for this. So we've got two Mine Lab hats, so one of these for Facebook, one of these for YouTube, and then someone, that's probably very loud next to the microphone, for someone who has sent something in, we have a prospecting scoop and a detecting armrest. <laughs> <laughs> They've been nuts all day, so expect a lot of dog interaction. Why we're slightly late, we were trying to calm them down. <laughs> that hasn't worked. It has not worked. <laughs> so this prize here is uh, a detecting scoop and a cover for an armrest will fit over pretty much any metal detector on the market to make it a little bit more comfortable and less sweaty on your forearm. Now, we're going to get straight into it. We're opening the best Thing well, that we've, a, yeah, it's already been opened because it, it was addressed to me. It was addressed to Zoe, so we've already opened this one. But we've got to start with this one for one very important reason. If you've tuned into the Grizzly Mail live streams before, you know how how uh, disastrous I am with scissors and sharp implements. And so someone has very kindly donated <laughs> some Stanley knives or some craft knives, I believe they're called. Um, they are Stanley they knives. Are Stanley knives. Yeah. Yep. Uh, for us to open the mail with. Who is this from? It's, it was a mystery. Oh, that's right. It was a yeah. mystery. I forgot about that. Yeah, so if if you're watching this stream and you sent these knives in, let us know so you can go in the prize draw. So you can go in the prize draw. <laughs> I know that one off for Megan for the later. Now we can get into it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh God. No. No. <laughs> that, that feels dangerous. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I can't be trusted with these. All right. What are we opening first? I want to start with what's on top. Oh, yep. it's a tiny spider. Where? Oh, no, he's not. He's dead. He's dead. Or he's a shell of an old one. Mm. This one is from Steve Hosher from Ronan, Montana. Yep. The United States of America. Mm. If you don't see your package here after today, it, should, it really should have been here by now. So, um... Send me an email, not mm. on Facebook, not on any other way. Just send me an email. It's bogusgold at gmail.com, and that way we can do tracking numbers and stuff to try and figure it out. All right. Hopefully, this can be read on. Yeah, I'll give it a quick skim <laughs> read just to make sure. Oh, okay. Um, you know, um, we were sent, we were sent, okay, my name is Steve, I am a treasure hunter and love your videos, I have been prospecting for about four years, I sent you a short note and a small pin in a small Ziploc bag, you remember that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was opened in the third mail video, the pin is actually a small piece of 10 karat gold. Mm. I missed the stream. I appreciate the time and effort you put into making videos. I got 0.42 grams of gold out of 50 gallons of clay. That's pretty decent. Um, this summer when the ground was really dry, but way too sticky after rainfall started. And <laughs> I like your tattoos. <laughs> your mouth, Steve. Uh, Thank you very much, yeah. Steve. Um, the yeah. Closure on the yeah, we've, we were wondering we've about. solved the mystery. Thank yeah. you very much for letting us know about that. And the clay is the clay is another thing. You can. The easiest way to work clay, if there's gold in it, so you have to know that there's a reasonable amount of gold in the clay and not just sitting on top of it, but you dry it out, crush it up, and run it through your sluice, and it's 10 times quicker and 10 times easier to uh, to work. <laughs> there's going to be more dog action here. Yeah, we've got a wrestle happening in the, off to the side. This well, is one I've wanted to open ever since yeah. it rocked up because I got a, um, I got a message from... The person who sent this asked me if I'd got it, and I had to go through my boxes and I looked at it, and it was sent a little while ago. 
um, on the 23rd of the 11th, 2020. So this is from Alistair Blake, and I think this is going to be a pretty spectacular. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for you to pass me the box. Yes. <laughs> not working. <laughs> <laughs> Why would it go to the fun Stanley Nights? I think it, it was addressed to me so that you wouldn't have anything to do with it. <laughs> you could say the Stanley Nights, but you can't stop the theft. Man, these are good. These are really nice. No, I haven't used one yet. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Might be in trouble. <laughs> All right, Alistair. That's a lot of packaging. Oh, I can't wait. Can I Looks like there's a couple of things to unwrap. Is there a letter in there, I think? Um, probably. Yes. Maybe we should start with that. Oh, well, you threw half of it away. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh. That's got to be the back page. I can kind of see what it is. Oh, wait. Skim reading. And thanks, Marty, for 50 stars. Well, thank you very much, Marty. If you do, um, there's another thing. If you do want to support the channel in any way, I, I directly invest all the things like stars back into doing giveaways and doing um, uh, prize draws and, and to cover shipping and all that sort of stuff. There are links in the description just to jump in and like buy a t-shirt. If you want to buy a t-shirt like the one Zoe's wearing or like the one I'm wearing uh, and a few other things down below. So if that's a way that you would like to support the channel and get some sweet stuff in return, you can do that. All right. I'm trying to skim read through letters because no, we've discovered that this takes a long time. We should read the whole or the whole things out, and we read these after. Um, yeah, there's something people don't want read out too. My skim reading failing me. I woke up really late today, and it just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to have a proper read through that a bit later. All I want to say is thank you very much for your note. And look at this. These things are amazing. I don't know who took the photo of me to get this sculpture <laughs> made. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. That is unreal. <laughs> That's awesome. It looks like they fit together. Oh, oh, okay. Hang on. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. That's really cool. That is so cool. These are going to go, you'll see these in the background of my videos from now on because that is amazing. Thank you so much. That's awesome. That's an amazing gift, Alistair. Thank you very, very much for that. We'll put that, uh, we're going to put your name in the drawer too. Yeah. You get to have a go of the Stanley knife. Next to me, then I think. Yep. <laughs> We can need the box. Cool. I get the Stanley knife. Yay! Oh, this one's a skinny one. This one is from Paul Jones from I don't know, but I'm gonna say Grant Great Britain. Yeah. That's what Queen's head on it. <laughs> Smooth Stanley knife action. Oh, it's pretty good. It's <laughs> pretty nice. Yeah, it's also scary though. Harder to cut yourself with a sharp knife. Yeah, that's what they say, but I feel like a... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you cut yourself, it's worse. <laughs> it's hard to do. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> box of socks. <laughs> it's a box of socks. <laughs> that's so cool. <laughs> I can wear one and you can wear one. <laughs> Rex. Stop stirring your brother up. Here's a card that you like that. Oh, wow. Says, Look at that for a photo. Mm -hmm. We have one that says Grizzly Rock and one that says, I think, Strange Rock because it's rubbed off mm -hmm. slightly. Dear Kristen Zoe, big hello from Paul Jones, a top fan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah boy. Uh, I watched and have enjoyed your videos. I have learned loads 
on everything gold prospecting. I always look forward to the next one. I am so sorry to hear that you, your co-star and beautiful boy Grizzly lost his life in such a heart-wrenching way. So, uh, so sad when I heard you were doing a Live stream, maybe? No, a stone memorial. Oh. I knew I had to send a rock for Grizz and a strange rock or crystal hot mm -hmm. rock that I found detecting, which I'm still not sure what the black shining, I'm not sure what the black shining crystal is. Is it a hot rock? Other than it gives a strong signal, keep one of your choices or use both the Grizzly. Bless him. I found, I found these and I knew I had to send them to you. Uh, Grizzly socks. P.S. Hopefully this reached you before Christmas. <laughs> it probably <laughs> it, it did, did, but we moved house and it was just a nightmare. Um, it's like we second Christmas <coughs> today. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Uh, Thank here, you very, very much for that. Here is the Grizzly Rock. Oh, yeah. I found a couple of these on the creek myself. I don't know what they are. They're really cool, though. There's one creek around my area where the bedrock is made up of mostly this rock. And, um, this yeah. This is the strange rock. Ah, okay. It almost looks like lava or something. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's definitely been melted for sure. I, I wish Steve, um, Steve needs to come over for these live streams <laughs> so he can, he can identify these rocks. That's cool. That's very, very cool. Thank you very much for the rocks. On Grizzly's um, memorial side of things, we have got things in action. COVID slowed everything down considerably. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're, we're kind of the rock memorial that we want to do. We, we need to get into our own house, um, like to actually buy a bloody house so we can set it up and not have to like leave it behind or pull it down or whatever it is we want it to be permanent. So there's a couple of things going on there. More details will There'll come be a that. public memorial too. Yeah, there's that. a public memorial in the works, but it's uh, it's going to be out in El Dorado and it's going to be on Reed's Walk, but there's a lot of stuff that has to go on with that sort of thing. So just hold tight. Mm -hmm. We are working on it. Oh, uh, grabbed it again. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> this one. Uh, this is from... Dave Mack. There's a letter up there. Did not cut it. Oh. I always worry you're going to cut the. Um, I feel it beforehand. Parcel. I know, but I still don't trust it. Yeah. I'm going to put the letters. The They're cool. All right. Mm. Mm. All right, so Dave says, uh, Dave is a local. I won't tell you where he lives because that would be bad. <laughs> um, I watch your videos on YouTube all the time. I really enjoy them because they are informative. And as I'm located in the Northeast, your work in the areas, I like to scrape rocks in as well. If the camera just moved then, it was because the naughty boys decided. Yeah, they're, they're deciding that their whole house is a wrestle match yeah. area today. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've mailed you a couple of rocks. The white granite one looks, uh, look, you know, the right granite looking one is one I picked up the last time I was in the Canadian Rockies. That's really cool. I'd rather, mm. I'd rather it go to Grizz. It'll give me a mm -hmm. kick up the ass to get back there and get another yeah. one after COVID and yeah. catch up with my beer buddies. That's a pretty good excuse. I like that. Thank you. And Grizzly would appreciate yeah. that as well because he loves rocks and not so much his teeth. Um, the green one just looks nice. A mate, uh, a mate had a sack of them, so there's no story to it. Sorry. <laughs> the third one comes from the Morgan's Bridge. Uh, comes from Morgan's Bridge. There's a fair bit of it laying around up the back there. Some with normally Christmas sticking out of it. That's really cool. That's awesome. Thank you very much for all those rocks. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Christy, for 50 stars. Ah, Christy, 50 stars. Thank you very much. I'm going to give that to Megan. Boys. Spot uses his butt. 
to to Rest push it. Rex down. So he'll spin his ass around, sit it on him, push him into the couch, and then bite at him. And Rex has to deal with that all day. And so there's lots of noise. <laughs> but yeah, if the camera starts moving, it's because they've decided to run underneath it. I've lost the mouse. Stop touching ah. it. <laughs> that's Megan's job. Oh, wow, that's, that's flying fast. Yeah. I just, it's weird not looking at a laptop <laughs> at a screen. I just wanted to see everyone that was there. <laughs> wow. There we go. We've got heaps of people watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know this is usually a bit of a debacle, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Jessica Flottom from. Arkan, Ohio, I think. I think O H is Ohio in America. Is O H Ohio Ohio in America? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure people on on the comment section will let us know very quickly <laughs> if it's not. They'll be like, no, damn it, it's Alabama. <laughs> That's some fancy opening. Yeah. I was trying to go with the original. I'm shooting it to box in a box, like wrapped up box. Whatever. I'm tired too. <laughs> I don't know why we're so tired. We woke up. We woke up and just like, oh my god. I think it's the weather. Uh, yeah. Normally I'm up at like 5 a.m. I woke up at quarter to nine this morning. I was like, oh, <laughs> what's going on? Where am I? What year is it? Uh, okay. Thanks, Ben. Is this your side? Ben? Ben. 50 stars. Ben. Thank you very much. Also, if you want me to butcher your name, that's a really great way to. Bryson for 150. Oh, Bryson, oh, coming out with the big bucks. Thank you very much. <laughs> and Simon for 50. Simon, what are their last names? That's Sorry, a, that's Simon, a, Fisher. Simon Fisher. Simon Fisher. Simon Fisher. That's a, that's the challenge. The the real challenge is the last name. If you can if you can get uh, what, what uh this is the letter. Yep. The gold hole and the first pickup. So these ones might be private. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> Really packaged well. Okay, Chris, my girlfriend oh, wow. and I have compiled an entire package of rocks that are not supposed to be here <laughs> for you for, for you to add to Chris's memorial garden. Um, now I feel like I've got to skim read this to make sure I can read yeah. this out. Oh, okay. Now I understand. All right. I think I can read this out, so I shall read this out. Yeah, and this is a really big, important thing. If you do send something into the channel for Grizzly Mail streams, please put right at the very start whether or not you want it read out or not, because it, once you start reading, you can accidentally read some really important information out that you don't want out there, and I don't want to do that to anyone. So it's just mm -hmm. super important right at the very, very start. Do not read on air, something like that, and then I won't. Um, as opposed to accidentally making a mistake. Now, we'll get to the letter. This makes a lot more sense. My girlfriend and I have compiled an entire package of rocks that are not supposed to be here for you to add to Grizzly's Memorial Garden. I had been thinking of trying out gold prospecting for many years. Your show was the catalyst that really pushed me to get a pan and try it for myself. I live in Arkan, Ohio. A geological times On a geological time scale, Ohio has been in just about every condition condition a piece of land can on this planet can be in that means that you can't stick a shovel in the ground without finding something that just isn't supposed to be here <laughs> but at the same time always has first we'll start off with just a rock a shiny metallic it's shiny metallic looking i don't know what it is it was i don't know what it is and i have never seen anything like it when i first saw it i thought i would totally bark at that thing if i was a dog <laughs> That's where the story ends until it barks to Oz. That's awesome. That's really cool. Oh, okay. Yeah. There, that's bits of mica. So that's just huge mica crystals that have blasted itself onto the host rock. That's really cool. The next rocks are from 300 million years ago when Ohio was covered by a shallow and warm sea, very close to the equator. You can hardly look at a rock here without finding a fossil of some sort of ancient <laughs> ocean awesome. critter. While I dig for gold, my girlfriend looks for fossils. She has chosen to send you some um, brachiopod specimens. Ohio is currently 1,000 miles away from the nearest sea. This one looks like a tooth. 
clams and coral are not supposed to be here. She is a she is a transplant from Oregon. I misread that. She's a transplant from Oregon. I was like, what? <laughs> the rivers and streams are filled with beautiful agates. She also included some agates she brought while out with her all the way from Oregon. Those hitchhikers aren't supposed to be here either. The last two items are nearest and dearest to me. They came to Ohio 11,000 years ago during the last ice age. Huge ice sheets plowed their way through the Canadian mountains, pushing millions and millions of tons of rock, minerals, and, and minerals like a giant bulldozer. The outwash from the melting glaciers deposited sand and gravels hundreds of feet deep in some places. And these deposited, deposits solidified into what is now Sharon Conglomerate. Sharon. Is this Sharon? Mm. Yep, that would probably be it. Look like Conglomerate. Um, I include a piece of Sharon conglomerate because I believe it to be the source of the gold in my area. Finally, I included all the gold I've found so far. Oh, Jesus, man. Isn't that generous? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's super generous. It's about half a gram. There's no gold geology here. I, it was all yeah. brought here by the glaciers. So Did you, you guessed that? it. It's not supposed to be here. That's nuts, man. Just like you, I care a little about the monetary value of gold. The true value is in the hunt and the journey. Write Ohio on it and put it on your shelf or <laughs> add it to the grand total or even scatter it to the wind. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you inspired me to try something that many told me was impossible. I will I will get more and I'll do it in the, in the name of all that we're told they could. And I'll do it in the name of all that we're told they couldn't follow the dreams for whatever reason. That's special. Yeah, fight your fight and turn your world into El Dorado. That's amazing, mate. Thank you so yeah. much. That really means a lot. The, the, some letters, um, especially the handwritten letters, we're just uh, it, it takes a little bit longer to read them. This one was typed out, so I read the whole thing. We read all the letters after uh, the stream, and it's it's amazing the stories that you guys have mm. told us. So we really appreciate it because and sharing it too online. I mean, everyone gets to experience that. That is such a cool story. And thank you so much for the gold. I've got a shelf now that has Californian gold, the gold I mined in BC with Paulie, and now some Ohio gold. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're adding to that shelf. I'll, I'll put it in the video one day. You'll be able to see it. It looks really cool. So thank you so much for that. Now, we better look at these. Okay, so these are pictures of where he's been working. Oh, wow. More than I thought. Yeah. Okay. I'll, um, are these I, private? Yeah, I'm not going to okay. show these because someone might know the area and the last thing you want to do is give away. It doesn't mean. Yeah, yeah. you give away people's spots. It's not nice when you give away people's spots. That's a no no. That's a no no. As Zoe's dad says, <laughs> if <Paul's> watching. <laughs> That's a no no. What did you say that to? He was putting something together and teaching someone how to use something and. I don't know. It was a no-no to use it a certain way. It was a no-no, yeah. Probably me. That's a no-no. Um, Tammy Ames, this is from, from Silverton, OR. Where's Oregon? That? Oregon? OR. Everyone in the comments can tell us where that comes from. If you do have questions or whatnot as well, please put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them during the live stream. Rex they don't have to be about dog dog speaking either if you've got other questions. All right, Chami. A box in a box. That's a rat's box. <laughs> Man, you guys package well. <laughs> well, you told everybody. I did you? actually. It's my fault. I told everyone to package them well because they get thrown around in the mail. <laughs> They found the squeaker. Yesterday they slept all day, so that's why they're doing this now. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, oh, hey. You, you're getting told off for using the shop. <laughs> <laughs> you won't let me near it. I'm going go and go for go. How else am I going to get better at using sharp implements if I don't use sharp implements? <laughs> it was a gift for me. <laughs> You've got three more. Yeah, I'm hiding them. 
Thank you, Kayleen Askew for 320 stars. Kayleen Askew, 300 stars. Thank you Thank very you. much. Ah! Your turn. Boy, can we do this? What okay. loves opening packages? Move back a bit away from your nose. Yeah. Spot actually unwraps packages. He's really good at unwrapping presents. And thanks, Hamish, for 150 stars. Oh, Hamish, thank you very much. It's fun to look at the chat. I'm, I'm going to look at the chat. Yeah. Thank you want to really quick. This is very sticky, isn't it? It's funny. Just pull all the stuffing out of that hedgehog. Yeah, but they already do that. They, <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they, they do that themselves. I have to come to Siberia to explore. That'd be fun. Yeah. Oh. Almost been there. I've almost been there. I went to the Baltic States. Tammy. It was Tammy? I believe it was. Was it? It's been. Yeah, Tammy. <laughs> My God. <laughs> what is I'm this? I'm trying to follow the lines of where the box is. There we go. Yeah. Spotty <laughs> helped me with that one. All right. No, no. That you know of yet. Maybe you know of yet. It is it's bloody. Look. Pass the parcel. <laughs> okay, there's a note here. But I need that to cut this tape. Thanks, Chrissy Lawson, 150 stars. Chrissy Lawson, thank you very much. All right. Chris and Zoe, I found this rock on a prospecting trip several years ago. I've had it with me on most of my trips since. It's a favourite of mine, but it's belongs to Grizzly now. Aww. It'll comfort me knowing that he has it. Mm -hmm. From Oregon, USA, Tammy. Thank you. Sent on the six of the uh, six of the oh, night. Yeah. Backwards was, dates. In Tammy, America. it arrived. And thank you so much. That's a love heart rock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peter will love that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have to send the photos mm -hmm. to her. Zoe's got a friend who puts, has an Instagram page where she um, finds love hearts in random things. I think it's called Peppered Hearts. Peppered Hearts. Yeah. yeah. So we'll send that to her. Thank you very much, Tammy. That's awesome. I'm very I'm very thankful that Grizzly now gets to share in that rock. And thanks, David, for Super Chat. David? David. Oh, yep. David ends. $5 Super Chat. That Thank you very much. My turn. Your turn. Ooh, another box. Uh, this is from Ian McLeod in Halifax, Canada. Oh, dressed a grizzly. Oh, you. Oh, buddy wants to open it. Been very helpful, boys. I think we'll do a prize for us. Sounds good. Yeah. No, we're not gonna growl at neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's in this one smells really good. Smell approved? Yeah. Rex approves. Just trying to figure out where to put this in there. Professional box unwrapper you are. Alright, here we go. Okay. Rexy really liked this one. <laughs> it's got, yeah, he sealed it with his nose boogers. <laughs> You want to grab it's it? The That's the letter. Rexy wants this rock. Uh, it says, Chris, I'm a subscriber oh, yeah, to it. your YouTube channel. My condolences for your loss. I was out taking photos, my hobby, and I saw this rock. And it thought of how Grizzly might have noticed it. The photo is of the beach that it was taken from. <laughs> so, Ian, do you have... <laughs> 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 it's a good box. Mm, cardboard, yummy. <laughs> Ian, your rock is delicious. It's been Rex what approved. What was in this box? A paint roller. Oh, my goodness. So this is the beach it was taken from. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty. Yeah. That's some serious geology in that beach. Holy crap. Rex even liked the rock. He licked the rock, too. I'm glad he didn't and bite that. So it was found in August 2020 from... Uh, Savory Provincial Park. It's a pretty color. Thank you very much, Ian. That's really cool. I like having it. No, like seeing that, like where it yeah. came from, that's cool. Rex likes a bit of cardboardy smell too. And for those of you who are new to my channel and wondering why we're getting rocks and whatnot, um, when 
uh, my dog, or our dog, passed away in Pretty August. Boy. He loved rocks and he was absolutely obsessed with rocks because he, he wasn't allowed me. to play with he wasn't them. allowed to play with them, so he sneakily played with them when I was looking. And um, yeah. we're creating a home memorial with the rocks uh, for a garden. So yeah, we're, we've got a statue of him and whatnot, and so people are sending us rocks to put in that memorial. <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah. Thanks, Dean Stevens, for 250 stars. Okay, this is from Harry Stevenson. Oh, yeah, no, this is from last time. This is, oh. You had that out to reply. I had this out to reply to it, that's why. So we're going to leave that out to reply to it. Don't don't worry about that. The Harry, it's coming. coming Harry. Yeah, it's coming. I promise you. Finders keepers gold prospecting. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, will, I will. It's a Velcro. It is Velcro. Uh, hats. I freaking love hats. Yeah. There you go. I Fun. got him a hat stand for Christmas. Yeah, you can see in the background of my videos. Yeah. Finders keepers gold prospecting. Thank you very much. Make sure you keep hats off because my I got really sweaty and I got like a heap of pimples across yeah. my forehead you because gotta, of you it. You gotta try it on. So I, I gotta keep them off for now until my pimples. <laughs> Feel like a teenager again. Um, we're going to do a, a draw. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're going to do a prize draw. So, right. who should we do it for? YouTube or well, Facebook? I was going to say Facebook, but you said YouTube. Maybe Megan decide. Megan's a tiebreaker. I can go YouTube because there's more people on there at the moment. Okay. 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 All right. So, YouTube. if you're on YouTube only right now, Facebook, you guys can just sit back, relax, and there's do absolutely nothing for <laughs> five minutes. Um, if you want to win a Mind Lab hat, um, I'll send this to wherever you are in the world, and it's completely free, obviously. I'll always send you. Oh, I think I've got some stickers for Vogus Prospecting as well, so I'll throw one of them in there if I've still got some. Um, if you want to win this hat, it's really simple. All you got to do is spam the comments with a number. It doesn't matter what number. You can just type one repeatedly and keep entering, and we're going to put our finger down on the feed. And when I say stop, Megan's going to tell me the person's name that it landed on, and, and then you win. And then you win. So that's how we do it randomly. I literally can't see the laptop screen. YouTube right now. Though. Yeah. So not Facebook. Yeah, not, Facebook later. Yeah. Facebook, everyone relax. Just YouTube. So mm -hmm. start spamming the numbers. They're doing it. They are doing it. Oh, my. Oh, there was a super chat in there. We'll get back to you. And yeah, we'll get back to the super chat in a second <laughs> because the numbers are going up. Okay. So go, go, go. Numbers, 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 numbers. More numbers. Just. Hammer those numbers. <laughs> you want to win this. You want to look like you've got some sweet, swaggy merch, yeah. right? Right? It's like, like we're owning a Porsche and wearing Porsche hat. That's exactly yeah. that. That is exactly <laughs> right. Or it's kind of bad though if you've got like a BMW and you drive and you're wearing a Porsche hat or something. Like then it just looks a bit yeah. weird. But if you've got a Mind Lab, whoa. Well, even what if you, you don't want. have a Mind Lab. If, yeah. All right. Anyway, we're gonna do it. Ready, Megan? Yeah. Uh, am I on it? And now. Robin Graves? I've got to go back and find them. But okay, Robin Graves, you've just won yourself some uh -huh. swaggy Mind Lab merch, <laughs> courtesy of Reed's Prospecting. Number six. Oh, number six. Oh, Megan's number. favorite number. <laughs> so you got Megan's favorite number, a sweet Mind Lab hat, and um, a massive thank you to Reed's Prospecting for giving us this stuff yeah. to give away on this live stream. So if you want to um, show them a little bit of love, go check out their websites and whatnot because they've got a heap of prospecting gear. Um, we're getting our, a dry blow from them when they finally get stocked back in and all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. So that is going to be absolutely sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniel, Super Chat, what's up? We are still looking for a rock. I found a few, but my daughter decided they weren't cool enough. Now <laughs> <laughs> she is helping me look. <laughs> Listen to your daughter, man. It's important. Yeah. It's very, very important. Whose go is it to open one now? Hey, Brock says, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with this one. A letter. Oh, a poem for Grizzly. Oh. Who's this from? Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Yeah, we will. It's come from, I don't know where. Well, whatever, whatever um, deals in Belian. Oh, no, that's a, yeah. Switzerland? I don't know. 
Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he's not. And thanks, Shane Wiseman, for 200 stars. Shane Wiseman, 200 stars. Thank you very much. We've got a professional moderator in, so she's not going to butcher your name as bad as I would. <laughs> and thanks, Caleb Stratton, for 310 stars. Ooh, Caleb, hey, Caleb Stratton. Caleb Stratton. And thank you very much. Paul Jones for 100 stars. Paul Jones, thank 100 you. stars. Thank you very much. Sorry if I missed anyone. Whenever I <laughs> Okay, this is a poem from Gri Paul Grizzly from uh, Two Chris and Zoe, a... Do you need me to try and read it? Yeah, that might be good. Curs I'm not so good with cursive writing. Oh. It's from Ireland, maybe? Oh, okay. I don't know, I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good with um, running writing either. To Chris and Zoe and family, sorry for the loss of your lovely boy, Grizzly. He was so handsome and proud. We will all miss him so much, no matter... Oh, wait. No stone, just a poem for Grizzly. This is from... Is it Kimberly McMahon? I reckon, yeah, it's Kimberly, yeah, McMahon. If we've butchered your name and where you live and everything else, we are... We apologize. <laughs> you want me to read, try and read the poem? Yeah. I'll see how I go. See how we I, might, go. I, might, I might not come out great because <laughs> I'm not good at with the running writing either. Grizzly, I got you as a little pup. The, fur, the fun we had as you grew up, I had you for so long and I can't believe you're gone. You're handsome... Um, face as you set the pace as you hurriedly walk along I miss our games of rock and balls the game of trade with your favorite ball I miss you at night when all is quiet when you're when you'd snuggle up beside me I miss your wet nose against my toes in the morning as you wake me up it was usually the ear. <laughs> I miss our trips for the alluvial gold when you'd find a stick with your jaws you'd hold. We, we'd search for pickers and nuggets of gold. You were a joy to watch, a sight to behold. When life got tough, you showed um, me fair. oh you stroked my hair oh. you kept me grounded you kept me sane i'll see you again grizzly i know i will you'll hear me call you from over the hill you'll start to run your little you'll start to run your stride won't miss you, uh, won't miss when you recognise me. Your best pal, Chris, loving you always, Grizzly. How? Um, just, loving you always. Hmm. That's made me happy, sad. Yeah, I know, me too. <laughs> yeah, well, I have a cry. <laughs> <laughs> Fighting you. back to you. I know, now. I'm sorry I didn't read it smoothly, but... It's really special. Thank you. I think we should retype that when we do the um, photos. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that would be cool. I'll try and type it out. So. Yeah. That's Thank amazing. You. Thank you so much for yeah, that. I don't really even. special. Yeah. I'm happy sad. <laughs> good old happy sad. Yeah, good old happy sad. <laughs> I picked this one. <laughs> We've got a backyard bullion on YouTube. Hey, bogus team, my dog, my dogs Pickle and Rhubarb sent their love. Have lost one of our dogs, Bowie, this year. We know that you are going through much love. I'm sorry to hear about your about your loss, mate. It's all it's it's difficult. It's really really tough. And thank you very much for the super chat. And Anne Marie sent the box cutters. Ah, oh, oh, that's right. Yeah, 
got Anne Marie's name. Yeah, there. and your champion. Thank you very much for putting me and Ooh. the rest of my family in much more danger of me holding a knife. <laughs> I'm not sure. You better read the letter because I'm not sure why we've been sent some of these. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. When we get to Jack's letter, the surname that starts with a C, um, it pronounces a K, not to skim through, it's way too long. <laughs> Okay, well, this one's from Caroline Rimmer from mm -hmm. South Australia. Okay, um, please find enclosed two charms, charms, and a uh, tiger eye heart in memory of your beautiful son. I've always treated my animals as uh, as people. They are usually far more human than humans. I agree. I've got a, I've got a cup for um, Christmas that says um, that um, dogs because humans are the worst. Yeah, <laughs> dogs because like humans are the worst. They're the two necklace charms. Cool. The necklace says, if I could have saved you, you would have lived forever. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Um, the other part of the package? I'm just I'm just skimming through some of this because I'm not sure. I, I, I personally want mm. that read out on air, so I'm just going to not do that. I think I know what it might be for. But I'm not sure. I remember this. You contacted me on Facebook, I'm pretty sure, and I've been trying to find that message for a little while and I couldn't find it. I know exactly who you are. Thank you very much. <laughs> there's, there's more to this story that I'll tell okay, you after the stream. Okay, do we know about this? Uh, no, not yet. I am looking for that. Thank. First of all, thank you very, very much. I know I've been looking for this letter for a while and I couldn't find it because I couldn't find your messages because of how crazy my inbox is. Uh, Thanks, Matt, uh, Matt Walker, for 310 stars. Matt Walker, 310 oh, stars. Thank you very thank much you. for that. Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah. some of this, I'm not going to read some of this letter out um, for a couple of different yeah. reasons, but uh, okay. thank, thank you very much for the charms and that you sent. And now we know what this is. Yeah, and the she's also sent some dentistry dentistry tools. We all know they're crevicing tools, and dentists have got <laughs> it wrong <laughs> um, to for getting gold out of small cracks. So thank you very much. Yeah, I'll definitely be putting awesome. those to use. Um, I use toothbrushes when I'm metal detecting to clean up coins some and stuff as well. Fun shaped ones in there too. Yeah. Cool. I'm in need of a fosser. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much for your letter. I will. Uh, yeah, I'll bring Zoe into the fold and all that after okay. the screen. Now, your interest is going to be peaked, isn't it? What is it? What is yeah, it? I'm like, ah, I need to know. This one was given to me in person on the creek from a mate of mine. Yeah, you, should, you should show the wrapping because there's a reason behind that. Oh, yeah, okay. Like from that. a mate of mine, Arthur. Uh, he gave it to me wrapped in a Beechworth Bakery bag that you would normally see things like food from the Beechworth Bakery mm -hmm. put in. And it's funny. He met Grizzly Heat, so so he interacted with Grizzly a whole lot, and he finally got his rock and whatnot, and he gave it to me because Grizzly used to mooch food off AJ. He would be in his camp, and he would literally go, so while Zach was running around and following people and whatnot, Grizzly would go over to his car, and he'd sit right next to where he kept all the food, and he'd look at it, and when AJ would come near him, he'd be like, ooh, ooh, a food, food. So AJ got a sausage roll rock because <laughs> AJ used to feed him heaps and heaps and heaps of um, uh, sausage roll leftovers. Mm -hmm. he, like he'd get a sausage roll and then AJ would get a sausage yeah, the roll. Of it, it's pretty cool. Not the top. This. It's got like a sausage roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's got the, it's got the lines for the sausage yeah. roll in it. And yeah, it's a, it's a sausage roll rock. So yeah. thank you very much for that, AJ. I absolutely love it, and I, and I love I love the thought that was put into that as well. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Paul Jones, for a hundred stars. Cool. We opened his 
Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. We do. Yeah, yeah. Paul, thank you very much for the hundred stars and your package. And another box. Yeah. We've only got one box left after that. Uh, oh yeah. No. It's... We've got heaps of letters. We should be doing yeah. letters. Okay. Well, after this box. Okay. From Tim Collins, Fort Wayne in the United States. I've just sent a comment here too. Ben Gil Gilday? Mm -hmm. Ben Gilday 1, I think it is. Uh, love your shirt. You can buy these shirts Which in the merch one? shop down yeah. below. No, and that one's not. Yeah, this one isn't. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we are also creating a special shirt for the Black Dog Pater, which is going to come out. I'm, I'm aiming for end of January. It's been delayed heaps, but we're aiming for the end of January for Black Dog Pater where we're going to be raising money for Defence Community Dogs, and that is going to be a special shirt that's coming out to go with that to raise the funds, so watch out for that. Read me. Read me. No, I'm going to eat you. Oh. Tim Collins. Tim Collins. Dear Chris and Zoe, I've been watching your videos for a while now. It seems like forever, but maybe maybe a year. My son hasn't watched many, but he enjoyed watching Grizzly hop around the creek with you. We finally planned our first trip together. We headed for a few hours south to southern Indiana. Day one, we got a few specks of gold at a camp that... It, at camp that evening, we even got the news that Grizzly was sick. Day two, we woke up to the worst news. We continued to the creek with sadness uh, in our hearts. Going for that first scoop that morning, I looked at these two stones. The large one gleamed in the water like a beautiful sunset or sunrise. The small mm -hmm. rock, the small rock for some reason, reminded me of Grizzly standing proudly at the creek. All I did was give them a uh, clear coat so you could see what I did at the river mm -hmm. that morning. They That's gave really me cool. the first smile of the day. Oh, it's really nice. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Tim and Preston Collins from across the creek. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, cool. um, it's funny, one of my subscribers, long story, but long story short, Paulie was out doing some adventures over in Canadian land and he bumped into a couple of subscribers that subscribed to both him and me and Paulie gave me a, a video chat and he, uh, because the subscribers he bumped into were critical big fans of mine, so he gave them a video chat so they could talk to me for a little bit. We had a quick chat because it was just, you know, in the creek, so not great reception and all that sort of stuff. We had a quick chat and they told me the story that uh, he, one of the blokes out there found a rock after Grizzly passed away and we asked for rocks to be sent for his memorial. Um, <laughs> he, instead of sending it, he kept it. He found a rock for Grizz and kept it. And every time he went prospecting, he put it down on the ground, put his pan on top of it, and then asked Grizzly for a good day. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I kid you not, ever since he started doing that, he's found way more gold. And it's really funny, right? And I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Spiritual realm. Some psychological phenomenon, whatever. But there'll be days where I'll be heading out to the Greek, uh, Greek, 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 <laughs> and Grizzly. Uh, it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. I can like, I can like feel Grizzly with me in the front seat more. Like some days, like really, really strong. Like he's just waiting in the car. That's the best way I can describe it. And those are the days that I have absolutely killed it on the creek. I have no idea what it is, but, like, those days in particular are the days that I'll go out and pull out one and a half grams or a gram of gold just using a pan or I'll find a really good deposit or I'll find a really good nugget. And it always seems to happen when that feeling comes along. So that's probably a pro tip if you are a gold miner. Uh, find a rock mm. that Grizzly would like. He can't just do it. No, 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 it no. It has to come naturally. Yeah, it has to come naturally, right? But, the rock but, will find you. Yeah, the rock will find you, right? <laughs> the rock will find you. And it might help you increase gold. I don't know. He's probably a busy dog with thousands of people asking him for help for gold. But maybe it will be your day. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> well, this is an easy one. It's a postcard. Um, to Chris from Possum, Possum Roberts. Hello uh, from Ohio. Great show on YouTube. Wanted to send you a card. This 
is a fast send. This is fast sending to Australia. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Thank you very much, Possum Roberts. Um, that is his postcard. That is our our mailing address. I like postcards. You don't yeah. get very many postcards. I like this love heart stamp one too. How many packages have we got left? One, two. I think we'll do two more. Yep. If we do, let's do maybe the um, oh, letters. Okay. And then we can do the draw for Facebook to okay. win some swag. Some All swag. right. So if you're on YouTube now yeah, and you fun. want to win the um <laughs> the the hat, you can jump over to Facebook, join the live stream there, right, get one, another opportunity. This one's personal, so we'll just we'll we'll set this one's from Kim McLaughlin. So we'll put you into the um prize draw, but we won't read your thing because it says it's personal. Okay. Cool. And oh, we will read it later. Yeah, this is from <laughs> Sean Wick. Same address, USA. Can I have a look? Yep. Yeah. Why? You got um, mom. Gillette, Wyoming. W Y, Wyoming. Yeah. 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 I think it says Gillette. Gillette. We'll go with that. Yeah, the razor company. <laughs> All right, Sean. Don't rip the address. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm in charge of opening the packages. <laughs> <laughs> ah. You like a new background, by the way. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Neat as. <laughs> There's actually light in this house, too. Yeah. Oh, the other one. Mmm. Sleeping, sitting up. <laughs> Forget the rainbow follow the grits. <laughs> That's it. That's the one. Oh, there's some treasure in there. Okay. What are you falling asleep? This is possibly private. Possibly some of it. Okay. Just show what's in it and say thank you, and we'll. Well, read no, because there's, there's things that I need to. Yeah, there are yeah. things that we can put out. Okay. Okay. So this is this is extracts from this letter again. Um, Privacy is a big thing, so I don't want to I don't want to give away I don't want to give away Sean's privacy and whatnot. Um, Sean has created a t-shirt company and the t-shirt company uh, donates profits and, uh, to suicide prevention. And he creates these t-shirts himself, so it's what he draws and, and he makes these t-shirts up. Uh, oh, He's done a couple of other things. He's started writing books and he's also created a podcast. I'm looking for the name of the podcast in. Mm, it's not, no, not that down there. Hmm. Okay, so this is his podcast. I believe this is the card for it. So the podcast is Sean Wick next to fire next to the fire podcast. And from what I can see in the letter, he creates things on like uh, he mentioned here, like ground grounding his own wheat into flour and making bread over hot stones. Uh, so it, it's sort of more of the uh, traditional skills um, stuff. And I think he's got like, uh, yeah, so that's all what is on his podcast. So next to the fire podcast, that's the details. Hopefully it shows up on camera if I can get right up there. Hopefully you guys can read that. Otherwise, this will be all going up in photos on, um, on Facebook uh, and he has his t-shirts who is under Ray, uh, Razor City Rider we'll at, put that in, in tpublic.com. 
Yeah. So, um, you yeah. You go to tpublic.com and then you search for Razor City Writer. Yeah. So, Razor City Writers. That's a really good course. So, he's got T-shirts. He's raising money to go towards suicide prevention. Razor City Writer. I think that's probably a very important thing to get behind. So, go check him out. Give him yeah. a little bit of support. We'll um, he's also sent me, there's a story behind this, but he sent me a lucky dollar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I and I love that. So this is his lucky dollar that he's carried around for a number of years. I, I seriously appreciate that, man. That'll be going that'll be going to a very, very good and safe home. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much for your letter. Again, like I said, I didn't read it out because I don't wanna I don't want to compromise your uh, privacy. And the most important thing there is that you're doing some fantastic work. So next to the fire podcast. Uh, go check that out and raise a city rider on T Public as well if you want to get involved with supporting suicide prevention. And envelope for Megan. And, for Megan. and we shall do the drawer on Facebook. I yeah. Think. Spotty's cranky because he can't move and I'm waking him up. Um, Brandon Robinson, sorry, joining late. Did you open a box for me? I do not believe we have. That's the only box we've got box. left. Yeah, that's yours. That's yours. <laughs> You're right on time, buddy. <laughs> right. Now, Facebook only. So now is the time to jump over to Facebook stream. It's already started, has it? No. All right. So this is Facebook only. If you want to win some sweet Mind Lab swag, courtesy of Reed's prospecting and whoop the part when you're out there with your XP deuce. <laughs> yeah, wearing a mind lab hat uh, you can now so all you got to do once again is start spamming the comment section with numbers facebook only if you if your name gets landed on when we say stop that's when you're going to win it so we're yeah. going to let it start so up just, um, just double checking youtube didn't so they're okay yep okay yeah. so youtube's doing things so start spamming the comments guys on facebook with, on facebook, facebook, facebook with numbers yep go 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 well wait oh at the moment some people must be ahead yeah at the moment Matty Han's gonna he's gonna win because he's the only one spamming come on guys all right it might be a little delay I think some people we'll give it it a little bit of time just because we know that there is lags it doesn't matter what number you put up spam 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 <laughs> Mick in there with a number that's like 400 numbers long. <laughs> Remember said to mention the sluice giveaway as well. There we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. yeah. So I have got while, while we're getting Facebook geared up. Oh man, you guys, you guys have got Mick, Mick and Matt and Look. Golden Payton reviews. Man, oh, you guys well. are gonna. You, there's only three of you. Gonna be in it to win it. That's it. All right. I'll just quickly talk about the sluice giveaway. I'm giving away a sluice and sluice legs uh aftermarket sluice legs to go with the gold wrap mini mini six uh river sluice and my brain just left me then we might just draw it now yeah. um golden Peter reviews yeah there you go golden Peter reviews just by yourself so mind lab mind, mind lab <laughs> mind, mind lab swag <laughs> congratulations man thank you to read prospecting again 55 Goodbye, neighbours. <laughs> um, so I'm giving away a Gold Rat uh, Mini 6 Sluice, River Sluice, and an aftermarket leg kit from DCM Gold, Pro, uh, Gold Prospecting Supplies. Uh, that's on Patreon. And then I'm also giving away a set of those legs that will fit onto any River Sluice that will allow you far more adjustability and to be able to set up in more places. Uh, that is linked in the description of my latest videos. So Please make sure that you enter that. It is a big giveaway. With, it's like I think five hundred dollars or something worth of prizes uh, that you can take home, and one of them is free to enter, and the other one will cost you a dollar to enter. So jump in, have a go at it because they are some really really good products going out. Right. Well. Uh, yeah, we better do. Yeah, we better <laughs> yeah, do this we one. We better do this one. We don't Brandon's here now. <laughs> Brandon's woken up. He's joined yeah. us. Body's ready to go, even though he's sleeping. Makes mum's job harder. Yeah. Gotta make sure I don't get him. What is it, Spotty? <laughs> Shane Smith, I want pizza. 
Pizza sounds good. I feel like pizza. Pizza. Yeah. Let's do pizza for lunch, guys, or dinner, wherever you are around the world, or yeah. breakfast, it's or breakfast. whatever time it is, wherever you are. Here's a really handy tip for yeah. anyone in the world oh, out there. Oh, yeah, we know who it's from. Yeah. From Brandon. From Brandon. Brandon. It's I know. Yeah. <laughs> really Ooh. handy tip. You can eat whatever you want for breakfast as long as it includes Ooh. the word breakfast. I think there's a present in here for you. Breakfast present. Safety <laughs> tips. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> <laughs> you go for the next packet with some. Uh, you down, Aloha from Maui. There's nothing I can say that others haven't already said in a, in a much better fashion. For what it's worth, I agree with you as so many of us do. You have always inspired me, and through all this, you haven't disappointed. I know it's not easy, and some days are worse than others. The strength he gave you will always remain. Always remember the joy. I'm sorry, I had to do it. The scissors, smile, mate. Right, and sorry, sorry, couldn't find any hazelnut Hawaiian chocolate. Oh. <laughs> I'll just imagine it. Yeah. Um. Included for Grizzly, a stone pick from the river here on Maui, I'm bubble wrap. Him, I'm trying to get into it. You need the safety scissors. <laughs> this stone was picked for its shape and design right. laid out. Too much safety going on. <laughs> the, <laughs> the design is then carved out with an angle grinder. This piece will sit on a shelf if you choose to do so. The weekend after you... Oh, your tragedy we planned a day on the river in his honor my girls have also collected in honor of grizzly unique heart-shaped pebbles from twin falls peter is going to have the best time oh, ever wow. <laughs> our favorite place to take the dog hiking and swimming oh wow take it take it, take it. Look at that. Boy, that's impressive angle grinder work yeah. I'd likely just cut my hand off doing anything remotely like that that's awesome thank you so much Put that right here. Thanks, Mick Cook, for 50 stars. Oh, Mick Cook, thank you very much. 50 stars. Um, do we know more about the rest of the rock? Yeah, I'm starting to get into that. I, I have a bad feeling that this one is broken. Oh, hang on. In the mail. Um, I've also included some gold core samples I collected while on a fishing trip to Canada a year ago. From one mouldy hat to another, I thought you might enjoy them. Visible gold on most, if not all, pieces. All right. Yeah. But then there's a lot of little pieces. I don't know if they've broken in the mail or the bits you collected. Or yeah, okay. So it might, it may have broken in transit because Australia Post and International Post are rough. <laughs> um, but that's awesome. I'm going to look at them carefully. I want to see if I can find a bit of gold in one of them. Um, do as you wish, display or crush and pan. Oh, I've included wow. a bag of these for, oh, for you and me both. So that's what the bag is for. Yeah. Um, this one's cool. Yep. Also in the bag is a slab of Petroski fossil and hematite found in Michigan. Very cool. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. So these are shells. I think. Oh, here's the heart shaped. If they show, hopefully they show up that shell pattern on them. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. The heart shaped rocks from his girls. Brandon said they were all broken already. Oh, cool. And the flat spot on the other one should make it sit up, right? Yep. Yep. Ah, oh, so it goes up like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he said, check the frags, you'll see gold. Check the frags, I'll see gold. Okay. I, I know Mick's watching now, so he'll be very excited <laughs> about that. He loves rocks. you got to show the heart oh, yeah. rocks from the girls. <laughs> Heart-shaped rocks. That's one. I like this Oh, one. this one's for Mick. Mick's oh, Mick. Oh, Mick. Mick, buddy, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what? I don't know. It must be coming. Whatever he stole it off the, um, the Terminator. Yeah. The, where's oh, it? The T-1000. What's it going to turn into? Yeah, that one. So this is some T-1000. <laughs> <laughs> 2021. So I'm going to... Let's find out what it actually is. Yeah, I'm going to actually find out what it is. Uh, what I was told of the gold mine in Canada that the samples came from was that it was a German-owned mine from the World War II era. This was very remote. We flew in 
into and landed on a lake via float plane. I had heard rumor of a mine, so when exploring one day, uh, unwisely alone in the Canadian wilderness, I fell asleep in the Canadian wilderness, so you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, but I found what I was looking for. The shaft had been sealed with rebar and concrete. The remains of a few buildings are close by. In what couldn't have been more than a 10 by 10 building that wasn't uh, standing any longer, I found the floor covered with these cores at least six inches deep. That's amazing. I hurriedly picked a few pieces to keep and went back afraid of a bear or moose might came along. Later that night, back at our cabin, looking at the pieces, I see gold. Amazed, I went back with my dad the next day and collected a backpack full of these cores. I never crushed and tested any, but I've been able to pick a few pieces of gold from the cores, make for a good display piece and conversation starters, but always wondered what candy might be inside. All right, I will take a couple of shards and I will crush them and do a video because that's, that is too cool yeah, not we'll keep, to do. Yeah, we'll keep the, keep the big nice one. Yeah, we'll keep the big nice one. crush the little, we'll, yes. the little bit. Yeah. A couple of them, keep yeah. some of them. Okay. Yeah. Well, Thanks for allowing us this journey of grieving with you. You and Grizzly mean so much to so many. Carry on as he would only allow, brother. Remember and enjoy. Thank you Thank so you. much for that, man. I'm glad you made the stream because that is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's really, really cool. And I bet Mick's at the computer right now, sort of drooling. Yeah, he'll be like, oh, I'm going over oh, there. Oh, God, I've got to go get the rocks. <laughs> you can open this one with your new safety scissors. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. <laughs> what is, oh, keep and open on air. Okay, read and open on air. Oh, this is read. from Caleb Strong. Strong. I think he's watching the openings up there. Yeah, but this. Uh, yeah, if you put your, if you put the scissors. Put my. <laughs> <laughs> I frustrate Zoe so much. It's great. It's a hobby of mine now. Can't get it in. Oh, there we go. Now we're engaged. It's for the rest of our lives. <laughs> so, this is a, yes. <laughs> do you want me to do the rest while you look at the letter? Ooh. Dear Chris and Zoe, my name is Caleb. I'm a long-time viewer wow. of the program Bogus Prospecting. I was so shocked to hear about Grizz. Our hearts go out to yourself and Zoe. My wife and I enjoyed seeing Grizz on the channel. Congratulations on the engagement of you both. Uh, wonderful news, Chris. I take my old Maldi hat off to you for the awesome proposal. Very well done. Funny story, I took her out. So she wouldn't be in her pajamas when I did I don't it. think everybody knew I was in my pajamas. They do now. Right now. <laughs> as soon as we got home, she got back into her pajamas. I like to be comfortable. Is that a crime? <laughs> it is when you go to be on camera. I didn't know. <laughs> Lucky they were my good pajamas. <laughs> just, just out there are the ratty ones. So, yeah. Memories. Also, I have enclosed a small gift for Christmas for the family. Mm -hmm. One of my customers That's makes so special. them. Hopefully, every year you will be able to yeah. put this on your tree in memory of the big fella. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's super cool. We've actually got Christmas baubles with yeah. all the dogs' names on them, so that's going to definitely be going yeah. up there. Uh, Chris, I do have to say I love watching your content on YouTube and Facebook. Keep up the awesome work, buddy. Merry Christmas from Caleb, Lauren, and our family, Misty, Milo, and Percy, Missy, my little cats, and um, Percy the dog. Mm. Oh, PJs. Oh, Moldy PJs. Oh, new merch line. New merch oh, line. Oh, Moldy. Oh, oh, doesn't sound very nice though. Moldy PJs. Oh, Moldy long jobs. <laughs> I want to know what's in this one. It's an odd shape. And it rattles. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't know where it's from. Mystery. Mystery mum. So if you're it's watching. It's from East Orange because that's where the post stamp's from. Yeah. Apart from that, I don't I don't need them. <laughs> I don't need them. <laughs> There's no note. So if you're from East Orange and you've sent this. Please let us know yeah. so we can put you down. Ooh. This kind of looks like a pee jar. I know. <laughs> Let's hope it's not used. <laughs> Oh, wow, there's a gold nugget in here. What? Yeah. Okay. 
our Megan moderator has got the hefty duty of figuring out who this was because yeah. we have a sexy looking black rock. That thing yeah. is cool looking. It feels nice. Like it's really smooth. You're going to enjoy that. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's real yeah. cold. And a gold nugget. Look at this. That's, that's, that'd replay, be like a. Put it up and then put it near the microphone, drop it in. Oh, yeah, hang on. Ready, sound. everyone? Shh, shh, shh. Oh, oh, that's a good, <laughs> a good sound. This is too. <laughs> we can make a baby baby rattle out of your gold but that would have to be a like a half gram plus piece that's yes. so whoever sent that let we'll me know it, we know it up on Facebook. we know it's from new south wales east orange there's east a orange. postmark so. thank you very much kind generous so, yeah. mystery if sender. this is your envelope let us know <laughs> thank you mr east and orange if you if you see this stream or later miss. And yeah, if you see this stream later yeah. and we haven't got a name, email me. Yeah, and then we'll put Don't, you in the next one. No Facebook, draw. no YouTube, yeah. email me, vogusgold at gmail.com. Yeah. I'm going to go with this one. This one? Yeah. I actually know what this is because the, the, the um, sender told me to open it. Wow. Have you Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Jack Commons. Commons? Cumans? Coo Cumans. I don't know, but I, ja Jacques, congratulations! I, you, you, I, Jacques, I like the name Jacques. Jacques. So okay. let's be Jack. Yeah. He goes by uh, Jack, but yeah, he's the one watching. He said it's a long letter, so yeah, you might not be able to skim it. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I, mm. I've sort of skim read your letter Already. earlier, mm. but he sent me a scoop. Yeah. So I, he, so Jacques, <laughs> you inspired the video that I put up recently, which was um panning gold with a shit plastic scoop. <laughs> That that video um, was inspired by this scoop. So he sent me a photo of these scoops. He said, I'm sending you one because I think they look really cool. They've got riffles in the bottom. And the idea is that when you, I do this already, but the riffles are going to help. Yeah. If you stratify the material when you're detecting and it will sink the heavy thing closer to the bottom and closer to the deepest part of your scoop. So these scoops have been designed with that in mind. And they've got like this skinny little uh, trench in the bottom of them. That the heavy thing sinks into and that way it's way easier to actually find your target well i decided to pan gold with the scoops that we had to see if i could do it inspired by the fact that this one had riffles so that's where that video mm -hmm. idea came from so jacques thank you very much so for instead the, of scoop, the shit plastic scoop i can, can do it with the, the pro plastic, plastic scoop <laughs> i'm gonna add that into the city that big like pan gold with the pro plastic scoop <laughs> thank you very much for this i am definitely going to be using that Let's try this one. This one is from David Zinn. It's from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> That'll be a top 10 hit on Spotify soon enough. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Gadzi and my cameraman will be there sampling that later. Is that better? Here we go, well. Nice. Appreciate the paper. Oh, I like, love craft paper. Right? Like mm -hmm. nice paper and craft card with <gasps> craft stamp. Oh, oh, stamp. Mm -hmm. All right. Grizzly would like this rock once you find. Yeah, I just skim because again, yeah, privacy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so dear Chris and Zoe, my rock gift to you is one more unique, one of the more unique ones I could think to send. It's a specimen from here in Arizona, USA. So that's mm. wow. All right, that's amazing. Mm. Um, there is evidence of ancient volcanic activity all over the place here. This was one of the more eye-catching pieces. Uh, may the universe bless you with your new with a new child soon and may your heartaches ease soon. Your sincerely, EJ. Thank you very much for that. There's a cool sticker too, but it's... It got squished. Oh, oh, oh. It's a succulent. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it is. I like succulents. So he's got a whole garden full of succulents. Yeah. You'll see some of them in my videos. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people get freaked out by my baby arms. Yeah. 
succulent arms. heads yeah <laughs> arms heads and legs uh, we've got we've had some interesting comments about the arms heads and legs succulent gardens so that's a very appropriate sticker thank you very it was much a for that, mate. a lovely card that mm. bird's so cool like i reckon that's oh. wicked i look steampunky but no no i thought they were cogs but they're flowers that's so cute safety scissors <laughs> Okay, Blake Mitchell from Blue Dog Prospecting. Blake is Blake. I hung out with Blake. I actually made a video with him a number of years ago. Um, he is a solid dude, Blake. If you're watching, we've got to catch up again at some point, buddy. I don't know. I don't know what this is. We only got this the other day. Oh. Safety shizzes. <laughs> it's so hard to watch. Let me struggle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure there's no more nope right. is there a letter there is not but you might Blake you might have sent me a message I don't I can't remember again my, oh, my inbox has been nuts oh wow stickers yep so Blake, Blue Dog Prospecting, head over to his channel and give him a check out as well because he does some really cool stuff. And, again, he's a dude. He's a really down-to-earth dude, and he, he's done a lot of work in his life, and I, I have a lot of respect for how far he's come in his journey and what he's doing on his channel. So Blue Dog Prospecting, go and have a that look at it. It's super cool. It's super cool, isn't it, right? So he sent a rock but with a – looks like a king parrot. A king parrot um, painted onto it. Really, really nice piece of paint piece of artwork that's super cool yeah that is really cool thank you very much blake thank you so much for that that kind of stuff that's very awesome. bag. and again all these will be like photographed and put up on my facebook page if you don't have facebook and you don't want to be part of it and you don't trust mark zuckerberg that's fine you can check it out on my website because i've got my facebook feed scrolling up there so you don't actually need to have a facebook account to view my facebook page Wow. Yeah, fun. <laughs> John Wilkshire, Wilkshire from yep. that's how I'd say it from Bendock, Victoria. Safety shoes. Uh, give him a go. <laughs> Too much safety. <laughs> and once I opens up with the safety scissors, there is a lot of um stuff that's going to happen on bogus prospecting in the near future my next giveaway is going to be a really 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 big one so keep your eyes out for that uh, i think someone's going to be extremely happy to get what we're giving away on that competition and again we've got pay dirt coming up at the end of the month um we should have 100 bags we should also have black dog pay dirt pretty close to completion so there'll be special bags for that and we're doing the sluice giveaway. There's heaps going on on this channel, plus the content that's coming out. I've got so many videos to produce and publish at the moment. Oh, wow. Okay. What? Uh, Dizor and Chris, Far East, uh, from Far East Gippsland. G'day from uh, Bendock. Please find a rock and donation for Grizzlies Memorial. The rock was picked up off the mullet keep of the Victorian Star Mine. This mine was founded in the early 1900s, about 1912. The main shaft was around 300 feet deep. Damn. I have an old photo of the shaft of the, uh, photo of the, shaft of the mine dated 1913. The mine operated under several names over the years, including the Mayfair. My prospecting mate, John Charles Windle, uh, was a young man, was the last operator of the winch. That's really cool. Um, this is a pretty long letter, so I'm just going to quickly skim read through it. Pretty cool history, though. Mm. Put off the mullet keep there. Nice.
All right. So there's a lot of information in this letter. I think I will. Um, I'm going to have to read this afterwards. Thank you for the donation and the rock. It's cool. Cool how old the rock okay. is. I'll read this bit. Thank you. Thank you and good luck, Zoe and Chris. It is a much like thing you are doing. I enjoy your videos, your support for persons with health issues. Um, and well done to both of you. Well, well enough, Yappa, for, for now. Take care and keep your keep up your good work. Must go now as I have a sluice box to complete for a mate to use. <laughs> Hard worker man. Thank you very much for your letter, mate. I, I will, um, yeah, I've got your number and stuff here. I'll talk to you about some of this stuff as soon as I can. And we've got one lucky last, last lucky last, and then we're doing the prize draw for the Mail. for the mat for the people who have sent stuff in, which is the detecting armrest and the prospecting scoop again donated by Reed Prospecting. Who's this from? Damien Cannon? Cannon, yeah. Yeah. Damien Cannon. We're going with that. Dear Chris and Zoe, I hope you enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed watching your videos. We were devastated when we heard about Grizz. He lives, he, he like you, is amazing. I have included my details, not to be mentioned, but for you personally. Um, so he goes, please enjoy the Prezi. I hope it brings you much happiness and good luck out there in the field. Regards, Dan Cannon. P.S. is funny. Yeah, P.S. I could not pry away any rocks from my rock hound of a son for Greece. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. So it is a 925 silver, um, silver gold pan necklace piece. That is really cool. If you if you're watching gold. this live stream, yeah, I think it's got some. I think that's gold dust. Gold dust yeah. yeah. Um, if you're watching this stream now, and you, I'm more than happy to promote your business. You said not to, but yeah. if you want me to promote your business, I will because it's really well, cool and very generous. Facebook, yeah. yeah. So thank you very much. Just get back to me to let me know if you want that done. Right. Price for time. We've got it yet. Megan's just got to write down this last one. Yep. You've got the last one. Oh, oh. yeah. Yep. Yep. Wow. Cool. She's on it. Look at that. For these. Yeah. So we're giving away the scoop. We're giving away the armrest. We've got all your names in here. Yeah. Um, you going to do it? Yep. Ah. Say when, Megan. Mm. Now. Kim Mc McLaughlin. McLaughlin. They, which one did you send? I, I remember your name. Yeah, I remember that too. It was in the first half. <laughs> it was one of them. <laughs> I think it was an overseas one, maybe. We'll find that. Yeah. But yeah, Kim, congratulations. You've just won yourself a armrest uh, for your metal detector, and yep. you've also won yourself a scoop for your metal detector, if you have a metal detector. Yeah. Send us your address if we, it wasn't written on the package too. <laughs> Megan's fired to get she, She'll get there. She'll get there. <laughs> Chantel S. when's the wedding? COVID, man, we are not. We can have a proper wedding yeah, because we have – Family and friends overseas that we want to invite. And yeah, currently not allowed to travel. We can't find your package. Yeah. It's somewhere. We'll find it. It'll be there. <laughs> so many packages. But you've won anyway. You've won. <laughs> Your address will be there. Now, well, um, if it's not, just resend The it. people who have won on YouTube and Facebook, yeah, there we go. Was that the personal one? Oh, yeah, that was the it personal one. It was the personal one. one. That's yeah. right. Okay, okay, cool. So, 
Yeah, that makes perfect sense, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Um, we need the addresses for the people who won on Facebook and who won on YouTube. I need you to send me an email or uh, at vogusgold at gmail dot com. That's yeah, how so you need. Yeah, you stuff. need to send me your addresses. Like that, okay. if you do it sooner rather than later, would be really handy for me just logistically to get that organized. It's Robin Graves and Golden Paid Reviews. Yeah, Robin Graves and Golden Paid Reviews. So send me your addresses that I can get those things out to you as soon as possible. Uh, now, yeah, I think we've covered everything. I've got heaps of competitions. I've got heaps of videos coming up. I wanted to say thank you so much for joining us on these live streams. They mean the world to us. Everything that people have sent in, I know how much money, time, and effort goes into doing this sort of stuff, and it means the world to us. So if you would like to send something into the channel for the next Grizzly Mail, you can. The address is in the descriptions of every single one of my videos uh, and in the description below on Facebook. Should we bring Megan in to take the Yeah, Megan, come, come get a seat. This is our... This is our... Moderator. Hey, Moderator brother. and forward slash Instagram <laughs> manager. So <laughs> welcome to the team of Progress Prospecting. It is growing and I'm probably going to need more people involved very soon. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, with the way things are going. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you did enjoy this live stream. And I've got, again, heaps of content coming out. So stay tuned to both Facebook and YouTube. You're going to see a lot more stuff happening there. And until next time, I'm going to go over here and awkwardly turn off the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Keep waving guys. You don't you don't know when it's gonna end. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>